all right so we are doing a love topic today and i just want to thank neelam my good friend <laughs> for suggesting this to me and also for inspiring me to do more readings okay so as you can see the topic is what's next in this connection or relationship okay so this is mostly for people who are already in connections um so uh what's next in your connection rather what's next in this connection all right so i'm going to be doing a live shuffle here all right so the first um the first uh pile is the green fluorite the second one is the amethyst and the third one is the opalite or i think it's the moonstone i'm not sure i'm always confused about crystals <laughs> okay it's the white colored crystal okay so i would like you to pause your videos and pick your pile and uh, you can also refer to the thumbnail um which will give you a clearer image of uh, the piles okay so please pause your videos with the question in mind what's next in this relationship or connection okay so pile 1 with the fluorite okay so let's keep the stone here and let's start with your shuffle what's next in your connection and we are referring to a romantic connection here okay so what's next in pile one's connection spirit can you please tell us what is next in pile number one's connection i'm going to cut it as well all right so let's start um we have wow <laughs> we have the fool card we have page of pentacles we have three of cups okay and uh, what do we have at the bottom we have six of wands wow okay something good is up here i'm going to clarify okay please clarify the fool we have four of cups i don't know if you guys can see okay this seems good um then we have um page of pentacles please clarify page of pentacles we have queen of swords please clarify three of cups we have five of pentacles all right so what do we have here about what's next see uh with this energy here uh pile number 1 uh with the six of wands here which means victory and we do see a man kind of feeling victorious here right um yeah it has been a tough journey he's in a wheelchair maybe he's hurt okay so maybe you guys are feeling a little bit hurt okay uh, about whatever has happened between you and your person however there might be a feeling that you're going to win okay that this this i don't know i'm just getting the sense here that you guys feel that you are going to make it with your person okay you are going to win no matter 
how hurtful it has been no matter how, no matter how many obstacles you know you guys have gone through no matter what kind of a trapped situation you guys are in there is a feeling here that you are going to win in terms of this connection that it's going to happen this connection is going to pull through okay if you are not in this energy yet you are going here okay this is what i'm getting now what's next in terms of your connection as such see i am seeing from this four of pentacles energy see four of pentacles this guy looks like really <laughs> you know he looks like a bit disappointed a bit irritated i'm sensing that you're having like you've tried various ideas okay but it's like maybe those ideas have not worked okay and now it's like you're thinking up further ideas and there there, there might be a sense of like a bit of like you know boredom or futility or just wondering like what are you supposed to do next okay i am sensing for you guys uh, that maybe you guys are not you know much in communication and even if you have come in communication um it's not been that great you know because i'm seeing these cups spilled over something is there i'm not seeing a total separation here okay but i am seeing a kind of like um, a boredom or uh, apathy you know uh, that is there maybe the masculine energy is feeling this that's what i am sensing okay i am also getting that uh, spirit is giving you ideas but maybe you're not paying attention okay uh because you're like focusing more perhaps on whatever has not worked out all right now i am seeing you go from this energy into this full energy next okay um basically you as well as your connection as such okay is entering a new phase a new beginning here okay and i am seeing a little girl here okay um for me this means that see your connection is coming into some sort of a light hearted energy there are butterflies here so there has been some sort of a transformation here okay i am sensing that this connection is coming out from apathy to a sense of lightness you know like not taking things so seriously is what i'm getting it's a very beautiful innocent child like energy that i'm getting that your connection is headed towards after all this apathy okay i am sensing that um you guys are going to be uh, you know quite happy in small ways i am getting this in small ways things are changing you might not even know that the things are changing behind the scenes but they are okay because this connection is supposed to come into some sort of a lightness of being you know a light hearted connection no i don't mean non serious i mean light hearted you know not taking things seriously i think both of you are transforming or this whole connection is transforming into like a more solid connection because it's like it doesn't go astray with small things you understand that's that's what i'm sensing here it's coming into a very beautiful innocent energy okay your connection all right maybe it has been very trying maybe you guys have you know had to leap through obstacles and you know all of that but now it's coming into a bit more easy sort of times is what i'm getting it's a big new beginning in your connection that's coming up next pile one okay so if you are feeling like nothing's happening what should i do you know will they do something x y z see just calm down a little bit spirit is behind the scenes working for a new a uh, sort of transformation in this connection a new transformation and beginning is coming in this connection where it's going to be more light hearted joyful innocent and light okay now second thing here that i am seeing from these cards with the page of pentacles and the queen of swords um I am seeing a masculine and a feminine energy here so apply as fits okay it's not necessary 
uh, because I'm seeing a masculine here, I'm going to refer to this card as the masculine and this is the feminine. So I'm going to refer to this as the feminine. So I am sensing here that, you know, uh, maybe the masculine is going to be, okay, one person in this connection, let me not even take genders, one person in this connection is, feel, is going to be feeling uh, or rather mulling over or thinking about sending some sort of a tangible or making some sort of a tangible move, okay? Um, yeah, there is, uh, there is going to be a revival of excitement here, once again, is what I'm getting. Passion, excitement, because I'm seeing orange here, okay? And I see someone here contemplating, okay? Sending something tangible to their person, okay? And the reason perhaps why, um, you know, they might be mulling over this or thinking this or that, maybe... Uh, is because maybe the feminine energy or maybe the other person, let's just say the other person here might be in this queen of swords stance, you know, someone who is a little bit stern or a little bit strict, I would say, okay, which is what is causing this, you know, um, sort of up and down, uh, you know, in the other person, whether they should reach out, whether they should make a move or not, you know, because there seems to be one person who's a bit strong, okay, who's being a bit stern, maybe they want some sort of a truth and they're standing by it, okay, and that's why maybe the other person cannot give the truth, the full truth right now, and so there is a bit of a hesitancy here, whether they should approach their person with something small and not something that their person wants, you know. But I am sensing there is going to be some sort of a tangible move that is going to be made here from one person, okay. So can you please clarify some more about this uh, page of pentacles, spirit? Please clarify the page of pentacles please clarify page of pentacles seven of wands um we have king of pentacles yeah <laughs> four of wands yeah so i am sensing this king of pentacles one person here perhaps the masculine energy is going to want to to so is going to i really feel they are going to um, after resisting they are going to reach out okay they are going to reach out to their uh, person yeah there is a lot of passion here okay there's a lot of passion wanting to you know do something and you know like just wanting to make a move yeah there's going to be a big um there is a sense here of someone, one person in this connection really wanting to make a move and give something tangible, do something tangible, okay? But they might be resisting themselves right now because, you know, I, I really feel that maybe this person um, is resisting uh, or not giving you the full thing, okay? Because they are not yet at the king of pentacles stage, okay? I am, I am sensing that, okay? Um, they are being the page of pentacles and not being the king of pentacles, which they are, okay? And the reason that they are resisting this is because for some of you, it might be something to do with financial stability. For some of them, it might be something to do with some sort of a, a gathering, an event, a group, family, something like that. There's something that is that has been stopping your person, okay? There's something that has been stopping one person from making a move, okay? Maybe it has been you, maybe it has been them, maybe it has been both of you, but I am sensing that, you know, there is, after a lot of resistance, there is some sort of a tangible move that is going to be made from one person to the other, okay? Now, after this, I am seeing uh, three of cups and five of pentacles. You know, I want to clarify this some more. Please clarify three of cups. Justice. Ace of cups. 
and seven of cups and we have justice and lovers oh wow this is beautiful stuff so pile number uh, one uh, i am seeing that there is going to be a union here okay there is going to be a union here after a lot of waiting and wondering you know and stuff like that there is going to be justice that is going to be served in this connection okay it's possible for some of you that this is coming through some sort of a group okay mm, i'm seeing three girls here okay so it's possible that you guys meet up with friends okay it's possible you meet up with friends uh, you know in a group setting of some sort all right all this loneliness okay i am seeing a man holding his head here okay so this loneliness that one person is feeling or both of you guys are feeling is is actually transforming into friendship once again okay uh, i am seeing a new start as well as justice there is something about some truth uh, over here as well okay see i'm seeing like maybe someone in this connection has been wondering you know like what is the truth of this situation okay someone so, some of you have been wondering about the truth of the situation some of you are wondering about a third party situation some of you are wondering about like is there some sort of a legal thing that my person is stuck in well there is a lot of there is a big sense of truth coming in justice coming in in terms of this connection okay uh, there is going to be an offer that is going to revive and revitalize this connection again into this okay you guys are going to be in each other's arms once again all this wondering and all of that stuff is like going to go away okay uh, i am also seeing with this maybe there is going to be a celebration or a gathering okay with maybe other people or just between both of you but whatever this is uh, you know this 3 of cups whatever this is it is something that's paving way for justice in this connection okay justice and uh, two of cups meaning uh, the coming together of uh, you know uh, two people in love right uh, i am seeing the whole loneliness part of this journey in terms of this connection is going away okay holding your head wondering what is going on with your person lonely you know missing your person wondering what to do next in this connection all of that is ending okay and it's ending on a very cheery sort of a note okay because there's going to be justice done here all right so uh, you guys are coming back together in union and this is why i was getting uh, six of uh, wands here because there is victory in terms of this connection and when when this uh, connection when justice is done in this connection you guys are going to feel very victorious okay that that it was worth all this journey this waiting this you know like uh, maybe a sense of boundaries here with the queen of swords you know and just like wondering what to do feeling like you know left out in the cold all of that is ending if you see that the bottom row is four of cups queen of swords five of pentacles right it's possible one person here has been very stern not like you know moving from their stance or uh, creating boundaries and the other person is just like holding their head mm, wondering what to do you know like what what should they do because they miss their person but their person is not willing to listen right what is happening next uh, in this relationship in this connection uh, pile one is that you know there is a there is a transformation of this connection that's one thing i'm getting okay so anyone who has been too serious or too stern or too strict uh, is going to basically lighten up is what i'm getting okay they're going to lighten up and something about what the other person does is going to light up, light them up okay lighten them up <laughs> maybe one person is sending something tangible making some sort of a tangible move towards the other which is going to make this other person calm down okay so let's just say if if, if this person who is strict is you your person is doing something very sweet okay that is going to calm you down okay it is something small that they're going to do first is what i'm getting which is going to calm you down and you're going to look forward to these sweet things from your person all right you're no longer going to be in this queen of uh, swords stance you're going to be um 
looking forward from uh, to sweet gestures from your person okay um yeah and then i'm getting that you know like maybe there might be like a, i'm getting for some of you there might be a sense of this is another scenario apply as fits there might be a sense of you guys getting together uh with the help of friends okay maybe you guys have mutual friends or something like that maybe they are going to intervene they're going to make someone understand in this connection they're going to make them understand you know to sort of either take the person back or lighten up about the person okay and then it's going to be back to justice back to balance in this connection okay i am sensing here that uh, you know like one scenario i'm getting is that friends are going to intervene okay the second sense i'm getting over here is a friendship being struck between you and your person like on a light note right all of these first row is the light uh, lightness here okay small things uh, exchanged okay compliments um you know like uh, small little highs or you know uh, <laughs> greetings and stuff like that and forming like a nice happy light bond here okay so you know this this is pretty much what i'm seeing but i am getting like okay see this is what is going to be happening on the surface of it okay you guys are patching up okay with someone sending something small becoming friends or having friends intervene but below the surface i still feel that you know like you are going to be feeling like you're not on the same page still you know you're not in a romantic connection because i do sense that there are still going to be some boundaries here okay with the queen of swords there's still going to be some boundaries okay it's going to be perhaps a strictly platonic connection for the moment okay and you know one person in this might be just holding their head and thinking that you know is it going to be platonic all the time i want to do something romantic you know and i'm stuck with this platonic stuff <laughs> okay and the other person is going to be like okay i'm going to be friends with you okay um because i miss you and you know because you want to be with me i'm going to be friends with you in in bursts okay however i still want what i want okay and so it's a bit of a stalemate situation is what i'm sensing here okay uh, like yeah there is a breakthrough in terms of like getting back uh, you know in contact i would say okay but there is still an underlying energy over here okay that like it's still all the answers are still not revealed you guys are still not in a romantic connection phase okay so okay fine so let me just uh, see some more um what else do you want to tell pile number 1 so let's see uh, how will this connection unfold in the future okay what can pile 1 expect in this connection in the future how will this connection unfold in the future spirit do you want to say something else we have king of pentacles four of wands three of wands all right we have lovers at the bottom this is good news guys i'm just going to clarify okay please clarify king of pentacles yeah ace of ace of pentacles please clarify four of wands king of swords okay please clarify three of wands we have four of swords okay and then please clarify lovers this 
This is a very beautiful connection, guys. Yeah, that's what I was getting. It's a very strong connection. Okay, uh, pile one. Uh, see, your connection is very strong. Okay, it's not going to be broken by small things or delays or someone acting out or you acting out. <laughs> okay, this is literally like, you know, um, I, I am getting with the lovers. I don't know, I'm being very drawn to this. See, you know, it's almost a very protective, caring and very like, it's a very symbiotic sort of a connection is what I feel. Okay. Yeah. There's a lot of care and concern and love and it's very strong with the strength here also. This is not a connection that's going to, you know, like just go away with small things. This is here to stay. It's a very strong bond you guys have. Okay, and it is growing because I have six and then seven. Okay, this bond is going to continue to grow and become stronger and stronger and stronger in the future. Okay, so how is this unfolding? Now, this unfoldment could happen in whatever timing. Okay, right. What, do, what is the thing I have here? Four, two number fours, three and one. So I would say between three months to one year okay is the unfoldment of this connection all right so watch out for this uh, connection growing and unfolding in the from three months onwards to one year okay now what is going to happen during this unfoldment i am seeing uh you know uh, one person come into their i don't know like their uh, the full masculine uh energy okay uh, by that i mean that yeah, I'm actually getting full financial stability because if you remember in uh, the previous spread, we saw uh, one person here being the page of pentacles, okay, meaning something like very small, but now they're the king of pentacles. Someone here, most probably the masculine energy is coming into a lot of like, uh, of either this is financial stability okay in their career in their finances in in their in their self as such even you know having strength okay having courage motivation you know confidence all of that i'm seeing this king of cups you know so he's literally smirking <laughs> so i have a feeling um your person or you okay one person in this connection has something up their sleeve okay uh, in terms of this connection all right, this is not something that's going to happen next. This is like a step by step process. What's happening next, we saw in the previous spread, right? This is something step by step. All right, so once you guys are back on a friendly talking note, okay, um, I am seeing someone here has some sort of a surprise or trick up their sleeve, maybe a gift okay because ace of pentacles is a is a gift right there's a very beautiful gift that you know one person is is going to be going to be feeling secure enough or confident enough to give okay this person is reading something okay for for the other person all right and they are going to come into the energy of feeling that like they're going to do it like they can do this all right because right now we were seeing something to do with you know like the reason why the person is you know in um page of pentacles energy is because they're still not up to the mark in terms of them their own self perhaps to give this sort of a gift okay now this could be a gift this could be a marriage proposal, this could be a job offer, this could be a piece of jewelry, you know, uh, tickets to some place, <laughs> like take it as it resonates, okay? But it is something significant and big that one person is planning to give to the other person in this connection and what's going to happen eventually, okay, is that this person is going to start feeling very confident about giving it and will give it as well, okay? <clears throat> that's one i'm getting more so a sense of confidence about like giving it okay uh and and kind of feeling really like solid about it like very grounded very confident okay second i'm seeing something about see there is one person here who's going to be planning okay very very like single focus okay planning something like a party like an event maybe there are other people involved here okay because i'm seeing two guys here the celebrations it's the four of wands stability something is being planned by one person maybe this person itself okay 
yeah mm, i am getting that there's some some involvement of like some other people okay yeah that's the sense i'm getting some other people are involved here okay and maybe this person's going to be in the background kind of masterminding things all right that's what i'm getting and then third i am getting something like someone traveling to someone okay something tra someone traveling to someone this is a ship which is going towards the sun okay i am sensing one person might be just like in a very calm and you know like very relaxed energy sleeping healing okay whereas the other person might be traveling to them okay has plans with respect to their person and is going to be traveling to them okay so this is what i'm getting someone is going to start feeling confident about giving something to someone they're going to be planning this with other people and then there's going to be travel to their person okay um travel to their person or their person traveling to them it could be any which way okay um, after all of these things are set up okay i am also getting something about like see with the four of uh, swords okay if this connection has been kind of like stagnant simple sweet relaxed now it's like destiny is coming in destiny is coming in and this connection is going to be moving further growing further in the future it's possible travel is involved here okay uh, there like spirit has plans big plans for this uh, connection all right so yeah now i'm going to just like check a little bit about like what is this four of wands spirit what is this four of wands tower <laughs> all right tower judgment oh mm okay emperor page of swords okay i'm not going to take so much i am just getting that see this person this king of swords is is probably planning a huge surprise because judgment is the card of suddenness surprise revelation awakening okay and tower is once again something like a very huge moment all right and if you look at it like this woman is falling off this tower but she's very serene very calm there is a surprise someone is planning here a very strong surprise maybe it involves other people is what i'm getting this is what they're going to be planning with other people is what i sense okay and when this comes uh, you know to the forefront when this happens someone here maybe the other person in the connection is going to be like shocked pleasantly shocked very pleasantly shocked okay anything that someone in this connection is not seeing okay uh, they finally going to see and that is what is it's a very big burst of energy and power is what i'm sensing here you can finally see what's happening see remember we said that in the previous uh, uh, you know spread we said that there might be some truth okay that uh, one person is demanding that truth is going to be revealed and that's going to cause like a very beautiful and powerful tau moment and that is what you know uh, maybe one person is planning okay that's what i'm getting now please clarify uh 3 of wands okay you want to fall out okay this is the high priestess right 10 of wands hmm high priestess can you please give me one more <laughs> tower once again they don't want to tell me yeah it's a very strong um see this is like a plan i feel one person's just going to be sleeping and relaxing here and then out of the blue secretly a very huge tower moment is going to happen 
it's going to shake you up okay and it's not a bad tower moment guys okay please remember it's not a bad tower moment this is destiny wheel of fortune here at the bottom this is destiny coming okay um and it's coming in very suddenly and this is a plan i i am sensing this is like a divine plan in action that's going to start off in terms of your connection okay it's possible that you know um see i'm get, i'm getting a very strong masculine energy here with the emperor okay i am getting this is something secret that your person is planning okay like some sort of a big surprise and when this happens it's secret they're not telling me too much about it when this happens you're going to be perhaps in a very calm state of mind sleeping relax smiling and then boom okay it's it's just going to be launched upon you okay this person is going to be planning that all right that's what i'm getting see this connection is only going to grow and expand that's another thing i'm getting okay there are there's a huge surprise coming up there's a gift coming up there are other people coming up and even travel is what i'm sensing okay and all of this is being planned by your person because they are the king of swords your person or you like you know apply as fits i want to clarify the ace of pentacles what is the ace of pentacles um ace of swords clarity truth yeah yeah stuff that you have been like you know uh wondering about your in two of wands energy like what is the truth what what's going to happen perhaps you know but when you see this like whatever this gift is it's it's getting in a lot of clarity it's getting in like even a decision i'm getting you're also going to feel very victorious uh pile number um 1 three of swords king of uh wands yeah i'm getting all your heartbreak is going to get cleared up okay you're going to start you're going to feel very start feeling very excited any confusions you've had with the two of wands okay in terms of this connection it's all going to go away in one go all right and you're going to start and and your heartbreak is going to clear any pain is going to clear and you're going to be like this excited king of swords sorry king of wands okay and all of this is happening by some sort of a tangible thing that is being offered by one person to another a gift okay or a offer of some sort all right so to recap the way this connection is unfolding is see this connection is meant to go the long distance is what i'm hearing spirit say okay uh, do not go by uh, current energy okay like currently like i said you guys are like in a kind of like a friend zone <laughs> i would say and hating it to be frank i don't think you guys like it but then it it's like one person can't go further than that because they have some big plans up their sleeve all right and they're not feeling like you know uh stable enough or strong enough to execute those plans yet all right so this connection is going to go through like you know a bit of a friend zone period light hearted fun okay mm however there's going to be an underlying energy here of like you know just wondering if when it's going to be romantic okay and then afterwards we see someone giving something tangible and offer a gift to someone okay and planning it very beautifully okay planning it all right giving the truth to someone planning it okay and giving it and the that other person is going to be very clear okay maybe they might have to take a decision all right i am also seeing other people's involvement here which who who are going to contribute to the stability of this connection because i was seeing three of cups and now i'm seeing four of wands okay so there's something about other people who are going to contribute towards the stability of this connection and thereafter i am seeing some plans being made you know uh, for the future of this connection all right someone might be traveling to someone to give them a big surprise all right so honestly guys this connection is only growing stronger it's a very strong connection and it will continue to grow stronger 
all right there's something here about the public eye as well okay maybe this connection in the future i mean i'm not saying right now but in the future might be a connection that might be in the public eye like an inspiration of some sort okay there might be a shift to another place as well like i'm getting a lot of future energies here but i'm going to stop right now and and just like end this right now but this is what you can expect in this connection don't go by uh, externals right now this connection is headed for a lot of beautiful things pile one okay <laughs> all right bye <laughs> Okay so pile number 2 what is next in your connection let us see spirit what is next in pile number 2's connection temperance magician five of swords okay three of pentacles all right this connection is still in the building stage is what i sense okay but i'm going to clarify please clarify temperance temperance six of swords okay magician please clarify magician ah uh, okay five of cups all right please clarify five of swords so what's next in this connection pile number 2 honestly pile number 2 with the temperance and the six of swords i'm getting you guys are both healing in this connection okay there's going to be perhaps either not much contact or whatever contact that's going to happen is going to be kind of moderate okay like light moderate light maybe even healing okay i am not sensing separation <clears throat> i am not sensing separation here i am seeing the connection is going to be building with the three of pentacles here okay building and going forward into blooming all right and this is just the three of pentacles right it's a start it's a start of the connection and it's going to be like slowly and steadily building is what i'm sensing okay but in terms of what's coming next i do see a very languid sort of a time like calm unruffled you know once in a while sort of like connecting and even if you're connecting frequently it's going to be like on a very moderate level okay i'm not seeing like you guys going full steam ahead in terms of this connection it's also going to be very healing it's going to be a very healing time whether together and in contact or apart okay uh, please apply as fits whether you are in uh, connection with your person or whether you are apart from your person it's going to be a time of healing okay healing calmness but also knowing uh, behind the scenes or or uh, deep within your subconscious mind knowing that this connection will build or is building as you you know as of now right now after this i am seeing with the magician and five of cups see there is some sort of a um mm, i'm getting a couple of messages here okay see um it might be that one person in this connection might be wondering you know like 
might be looking at the past regretting things you know all the mistakes that have been made in this connection and kind of acting a little tricky okay not like showing their full self okay either because of the past hurts or this could be <clears throat> one person acting tricky and the other person feeling bad about it you know like why are they showing me tricks right why are they not giving me the real deal all right and this is going to happen after this really beautiful flowy period okay there might be an instance or instances where one person doesn't really show their authentic self that's more so what i'm getting okay and that's going to make the other person feel a little bit like you know um like miffed <laughs> i'm getting irritated okay you like see it's possible because of certain things they say or do okay one person is going to be feeling like it's not over it's over you know or that it's not worth it but there are still two cups here so it's possible one person might be um focusing too much on either the past hurts or whatever has happened you know whatever tricks the their their person is showing to them and feeling uh, irritated about it and not focusing on the love part of it and i would i'm not blaming you here okay uh, but it's like you know you might tend to be a bit pessimistic and the other person and this pessimism might be triggered by <laughs> your person not being totally authentic with you in terms of this connection okay because i'm seeing this connection a bit slow and steady okay so it's possible that you know like because of the slowness because of certain red flags you guys might feel like you know like what did i get myself into again you know so there might be that instance so do be careful about that uh, pile number 2 but they are saying not to focus too much on the negatives all right <clears throat> now the third thing that i'm getting over here is that with the five of swords and the hermit see i am seeing some sort of a dispute happen okay and i i really feel that disputes pave way for clarity right for for a reconnection on a better note all right i am seeing someone maybe like have a dispute with their person and kind of like walk away into hermit mode you know feeling like i'm good with myself all right i i don't need this um, tricky business all right that's what i'm getting that's more so what i'm getting okay uh, there is a period of like um isolation or or separation coming in after something happens here okay which makes you feel bad all right i am sensing you're going to tell your person why you're walking away and go into some sort of a hermit mode for some time okay to calm yourself down all right but in terms of what's really happening next in this connection is that it's going to flow along it's going to be very healing and then boom you know there's something here also about divine intervention and the cleansing of energies okay because i'm getting healing here cleansing healing purification you know it's like with six of swords temperance you know i'm seeing a lot of healing is going to be taking in in this connect taking place in this connection and that healing will involve certain disputes okay so please don't worry it is essential for these disputes to occur i'm not seeing them as something very big to be frank okay it's the divine doing this the divine is making you guys kind of like get into conflict so that you can clear out your energy so you don't keep hanging on to some negative thing right and and so i am seeing that after this divine intervention of something happening some dispute happening uh, you guys are going to seek hermit mode okay for some time and not like you know kind of indulge too much in connecting with your person okay it's going to give you a lot of peace and also a lot of insight about why this uh, you know like uh, confusion or uh, you know um dispute happened this conflict happened okay but all of this is a part of the building blocks of this connection okay this is what the divine wants you to know please don't take any sort of hurt or whatever it is 
like you know personally this is just the connection building up and any connection that builds up will have its ups and downs right there is a lot of divine intervention here and it is especially to do with balancing and healing of this connection okay so now next i'm going to ask like how will this connection unfold in the future that's what i checked for uh pile number 1 as well so divine can you please tell me uh how will pile 2's connection unfold in the future king of wands two of swords hierophant okay beautiful i told you there's a lot of divine intervention here and three of swords here okay so let me clarify please clarify king of wands we have empress okay i hope you guys can see it yeah okay two of swords Yeah, a lot of healing here and hierophant three of pentacles okay and please clarify three of swords Ten of Pentacles. Okay, What's that. Ten of Pentacles, two of Pentacles, seven of Pentacles. Okay. Okay. So, how will this connection unfold? See, uh, pile number uh, two. What I'm getting here is that see, slowly and steadily, your heart breaks. are going to you know just keep uh like you know getting healed is what i'm sensing okay because this connection is finally coming into full um uh, kind of union all right maybe marriage all right however there is time okay and it's possible during this time because i am sensing you guys might be wanting like the whole thing right like marriage children this whole uh, you know like union to happen but there is time so you might be because this connection is building a little slowly you might be a little bit hurt or disappointed okay because it's so slow okay i am sensing that all right so you might be like literally pulling your hair saying that when am i going to reach the finish line <laughs> okay so yeah this might be a undercurrent you know in your connection now going to how it's going to unfold see guys i feel one person in this connection perhaps the masculine energy but please apply as fits one person in this connection is going to be very very like super duper convinced and passionate about their person okay i am seeing this person this king of wands is like constantly on the go like wanting to connect wanting to speak you know this is the uh, the red is the energy of the root chakra right uh, wanting a foundation and she is also wearing red okay so want knowing that this is their person their future spouse okay like empress is like a spouse figure right and also even looking up to their person looking up to their grace their you know like their, like their poise okay wanting a uh, sort of you know like their person to be the mother of their child mother or father of their child 
okay knowing that this is the person they want for life okay Th there is a an increase here see because of the healing which we saw in the previous spread okay i do sense that because of the healing because of the pulling away of energies and all of that there is going to be like the person who was acting tricky is finally going to come into the energy of being very clear that they want their person okay like uh, when uh, you know one person withdraws their energy that's when the the other person starts missing them right and that's what i'm seeing over here happening in this connection when you know you or your person withdraw uh, your energies that's when the other person is going to realize that this is the person i want in my life okay and that's going to take the he healing kind of like a time out discussion of what you want all of those things that we saw in the previous spread okay and so i am seeing the way this connection is going to unfold is one person who has been tricky and elusive okay will come into a very passionate knowing that this is that you you or rather they want their person like big time okay for marriage okay being very passionate being being very driven wanting to connect wanting to talk okay and maybe the other person might be in their you know like a uh, divine uh, feminine or divine masculine energy at that time you know not feeling desperate in any way okay feeling like okay like you know if they want me great if they don't want me i'll find someone better you know that sort of a sense and that's what's going to make you know the other person magnetic you know magnetized you know to you okay so that now i am seeing that this is going to happen during some sort of like a separation kind of okay like i am seeing that there might be with the two of uh, swords here and the six of swords there might be like a time out okay i am sensing in this pile there might be multiple time outs okay because there is healing to be done there is like you know uh you know someone to come into the realization that they want someone for their life okay uh for their lifetime okay so i am sensing there's going to be like this this realization is going to happen during separation not much will be seen in terms of each other or or where this connection is going but honestly i am seeing slowly the separation is going to initiate healing okay and a better clarity this connection will slowly head into clarity about where it's supposed to head okay that's how it's unfolding okay the more you heal the more clarity you get okay the more you distance yourself the more clarity they get or you get and then finally the band uh, you know the blindfold is going to be removed and you can slowly start seeing where this connection is headed like i said in this pile there is an emphasis on the slowness because of all the healing okay so guys just and and that healing is very necessary because of past hurts because of x y z reasons okay not just past hurts faced by your from your person but you know like even like what you have gone through in the past with other connections or they have gone through okay lot of healing here time outs healing reconnection passion okay all of that is in the mix okay and once you guys have healed i am seeing this connection building up towards like a marriage a commitment okay that is one the second thing that i am getting over here is that you know building up to sort of make your own foundation your own belief structure right maybe uh, some of you in this connection are like some of you or one of you in this in this connection are very much by rules or traditions you know by their culture religion and all of that okay but now this connection is now going to be building up your their own foundation you know their own maybe um philosophy religion belief system stuff like that okay so this connection is building guys it's building mm. let me clarify this uh hierophant some more please clarify the hierophant
seven of cups yeah there is meeting here seven of cups ten of cups four of swords yeah this this is pretty much what i was getting guys you know it's like i'm another thing i'm getting over here is maybe people in this connection they're not going to be in this super duper tearing hurry to just like get hooked and married legally this and that they're going to take their time you know i'm seeing someone thinking like why should i you know hurry and jump into a marriage when i don't really feel like it right below we have seven of pentacles that's what i'm saying like you know what is the big hurry okay and i want something very happy very relaxed very calming so i don't want to rush this connection i really feel that both of you are going to be coming into some sort of a, you know like your own path in terms of this connection not being ruled by the externals by the external world or other people your family this and that okay you are going to uh, you know carve your own path you're going to set your own pace in this connection okay so just take it take it step by step guys okay take it step by step this connection is going to build and for for some of you in fact for a lot of you i am sensing that this is going to get into some sort of a legal or a traditional sort of aspect okay like marriage all right but that's further down the line right now i would say what you are not comfortable with is what you are going to be removing from this connection okay talking it out removing all right and this is going to head into healing for you for your person for this connection okay don't take the time outs literally you are going to be very calm during your time outs okay you are not going to be like freaking out all right uh but slowly any hurtful thing during this healing during these time outs any hurtful things are going to be you know like literally shed so that you this connection can build in a very beautiful way in the future like in a very like you know by rules by your own rules you and your person's own rules not by what other people are saying all right so you know so don't worry uh, you know if there are time outs or it's taking time this connection will get into something very solid with the three of pentacles okay but it's going to be a process it's going to take time is what i'm sensing okay so this is what i have for you pile number 2 okay <laughs> bye okay so pile number 3 with the moonstone um what is next in your connection okay let's have a look okay let's have a look strength page of swords wheel of fortune okay below we have the seven of swords right please clarify strength we have knight of pentacles i hope you guys can see it yeah okay please clarify page of swords seven of wands please clarify wheel of fortune hierophant wow <laughs> okay fine <clears throat> so what do i see here for you guys pile 3 what's next in your connection okay 
see with the seven of swords here i really feel right now things are a lot of things are like happening behind the scenes okay like i am seeing a big sense of spirit or or the divine intervening in your connection to be honest okay because i'm seeing hierophant wheel of fortune strength you know seven of swords this is all like speaking to me about divine intervention all right so a lot of things are happening behind the scenes right now in terms of your connection so you might not be seeing too much okay right now is what i sense okay i'm also sensing that your person also might be like you know Uh, may, you might not be seeing too much of your person either okay uh, maybe they're deliberately hiding or you know they're they're avoiding contact or you are avoiding like there is a lot of secrecy here okay that i'm sensing that is happening right now in your connection okay so now what's next okay i am seeing here with the strength card and the knight of pentacles see guys this is a very stable connection all right this is not a connection which is i'm um, you know like airy fairy or just like casual this is a very strong eternal bond okay that you have with your person all right however i am seeing next that things are going to be slow okay i am seeing growth here yeah i am seeing that with the knight of pentacles small growth here and there maybe small um instances where you connect and you know like small things i'm seeing slow slowness okay things are going to seem slow here okay however it's not going to be affecting your connection too much okay because this is an eternal bond right i am seeing a lot of love between like fierce love is what i'm seeing okay like both of you are like crazy in love with each other and it's going to continue okay however in the real world i am seeing small growth not much you know like slowness maybe someone here might be a little hesitant you know to interact or connect or something like that but not in a bad way like this person looks like yeah she's a bit wary but she's curious okay so there might be instances of curiosity about like you know why did my person do this why did uh, like you know your person or you might be having these sort of thoughts like why did they do this why did they say this maybe it meant this maybe it meant that <laughs> you know so in the real world i'm seeing slow but steady progress okay but maybe not as much growth or blooming as you would like okay because things are hidden and happening behind the scenes okay now with the ace of swords sorry page of swords right yeah this is the page of swords page of swords and seven of wands if i look at this imagery i am getting something on the lines of like maybe you are going to see one sense i'm getting over here is some sort of knowledge or information okay some sort of knowledge or information that you have been seeking okay perhaps about this connection or about your person okay is going to be coming to you and you're going to be very happy with that it's possible that you might have wanted some sort of a truth here regarding your person but maybe either they were resisting it or it was like just you just had to work very hard i sense with the seven of wands okay maybe you had uh, you know like you had doubts coming up and <clears throat> you know like getting kind of imbalanced and insecure and guarded and defensive you know about any kind of information okay or about your person or this connection okay maybe in the past you have been like this pile number 3 okay you have been very fierce about your connection but you've also had instances where um you've had to fight for this connection you know because of what other people said or misinformation or things like that okay but you are coming across some sort of big truth okay and i am sensing either you're going to see this in like a book or a paper or the news and you're going to be like wow you know like this is it this is the information i was seeking and i am sensing with the two birds here this is something that spirit is going to be providing to you okay some information clarity news about your connection or about your person okay for a lot of you it's possible you might read it somewhere okay because i am seeing a book okay 
and this is something you have been seeking okay this is some sort of news or information or something like that that you are seeking and it's going to make you very happy because you have worked so hard for it so this is something that is coming up next after the slow journey okay and and honestly this is going to be like a eureka moment something that spirit is organizing all right it might come in a flood i'm not even seeing this like as one piece of information i'm seeing a lot of it okay <laughs> you might have to brace yourself for that okay it's like brace for impact is what i'm hearing okay now third i'm getting like oh my gosh like after this guys you know uh, you know you're going to be like i don't know like uh, you might be in this beautiful uh, sort of energy after this knowledge or information is given to you, you might be in a beautiful energy you know thinking you're very you're very excited but not exactly like you know i'm not seeing you all over the place but i don't know i feel destiny is coming and the divine is bringing it to you okay the divine is bringing a very significant turning point in your connection okay and this is your connection's destiny and something about this wheel of fortune card here see i'm seeing some planets and you know like the stars see something is aligning in the universe okay something is aligning in uh, the planets there's some sort of an astrological uh, configuration or alignment that is happening in the higher realms you know and this is being done by the divine okay so that your connection you know uh, can come into a turning point there's a big turning point coming in your connection pile number 3 next okay after these things all right after a bit of slowness and information or knowledge there is a huge turning point coming in into your connection because it is the right alignment of planets is what i'm getting this is going to be a blessing that the divine is going to be giving to you this is pure divine intervention i'm sensing it's like blessings from the divine and i am getting you're going to be very thankful when this happens guys okay they're not telling me much about what it is this entire pile is like i said we began with like you know seven of swords so they're not telling me too much it's all happening behind the scenes but when it comes when this turning point comes this powerful turning point comes it's going to be like i don't know it's like blessings raining down upon you you know blessings from lifetimes that the divine wants to give to you okay this is you're going to be very thankful uh, when this happens so everything is like you know progressing towards this now is what i'm sensing okay now the timings that i have are 8 7 10 5 7 again so between 5 yeah i would say uh, sorry um what is the time between 7 no between 5 to 10 months is when all of these things are going to happen okay yeah right now it might not seem like anything significant is happening but the next significant thing coming up is some sort of information knowledge news okay with respect to this connection which is going to make you like go your record <laughs> and after that i am seeing a big destined change coming in in this connection which you are going to be very thankful about okay i am going to clarify the wheel of fortune some more for some of you this could even be like a sudden marriage yeah emperor and below ace of cups yeah this is like i am sensing maybe the masculine there's there's a heavy influence of the divine masculine here emperor is a divine masculine energy and then ace of cups there is an offer perhaps there's going to be a big offer that is coming to you from this person but it's actually being guided by spirit okay it's a very it's like a full blown emotional like the sense i'm getting is an emotional confession you know a lot of emotions it's all going to come in like a burst all of a sudden okay and <clears throat> maybe the masculine in this uh, pile is going to be you know doing that okay let's see yeah four of pentacles nine of swords 
See guys, I really feel you guys have been very worried maybe about this connection. There's something hidden here maybe about your person, okay? Or like there's something you are hiding, like take it as it resonates, okay? However, I am seeing that this is like a big surprise. Like, you know, it's possible during the slow time, you guys might be a bit worried, have worried as to why things are all hidden and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm getting a big sense of that. Like, why is spirit hiding so many things from me? Is there something wrong? You know, is there something wrong with my connection? Is something bad going to happen? Is there something wrong with my person? No, guys. Okay, this is something like a surprise that spirit is planning along with your person. Okay, and what I'm seeing with the clarification of the Wheel of Fortune here is your person, like, honestly, with the Ace of Cups and the King, uh, sorry, the Emperor, this is like a sudden, uh, you know, like, revelation of some sort which the divine wants okay it's like a certain timing that was fixed by the divine the you know a fated time divine timing yeah that's what i'm getting this is divine timing for your connection to solidify to come together solidify come into emotional expression blooming this is all monitored by spirit okay and i really feel like this is someone coming up with a confession or an offer of love please clarify hierophant So we have, <laughs> it's the divine which is hiding everything, okay? They're hiding this, this beautiful wheel of fortune moment, this destined moment, okay? Where your connection is like, I don't know, there's a big, beautiful surprise that the divine is planning in this connection and they're holding it back. Like they're, yeah, you're going to be like this judgment. It, it's a huge surprise from the divine, <laughs> what i'm getting wow and they're holding it very tightly you might not see anything you might get into conflicts and all that but honestly yeah you're very worried like why is everything being hidden i'm gonna walk away some of you guys might be thinking that nothing's gonna ever happen i'm gonna walk away from this no use you know trying to find any information because i'm not getting anything okay and boom after that judgment judgment day <laughs> This is all divine in action and this is something to do with one person coming up with a big surprise, you know, like a big emotion, a big surprise that's going to make you very emotional. Okay, I'm seeing like a revelation moment. I'm really getting judgment from both these. Okay, and all of this is being hidden, like it's all behind the scenes. Okay, I want to clarify page of souls as well. What is this page of souls? So, three of swords, ow, and we had uh, this at the bottom, which is four of swords. Mm -hmm. What else is this? Strength, yeah, strength, and lovers, yeah. See, guys, see, I really feel in this this pile like things are hidden okay and you don't have too much information progress is very slow but the love is very strong i think it might even be like an energetic thing okay uh linked through psychic intuitive connect and energies and all that but it's just like since it's slow progress and things are hidden in the 3d you guys might be hurting you know you might be like what is what is up like you know that sort of stuff but this information that's going to come to you it's going to be very strong it's going to remove your heartbreak it's going to make you sleep like a baby after that once you get this information you're going to be like <sighs> and you're going to be stronger in love with your person honestly you're going to be emphatic i'm seeing two one tiger one lion here okay so honestly you're going to be fierce about this connection you're going to be very protective about your person you're going to feel like they are they or you are going to be very protective this connection is like going to become very strong you know once this information is revealed maybe at one point you guys were resisting this connection okay because you didn't have much information but now after this is revealed to you in whichever way it is you are going to be like you know crazy in love with your person honestly and also very peaceful okay so this is what is coming next in your connection pile three now i want to see like i saw for the other piles how is this connection going to unfold okay let's have a look
starts with the wheel of fortune i mean god guys like who are you guys <laughs> you have like immense divine protection i feel in terms of your connection okay wow look at that major arcana hierophant <sighs> seven of wands and then what do we have here page of page of swords okay so let's clarify please clarify wheel of fortune we have king of cups okay <laughs> okay right please clarify hierophant five of pentacles please clarify seven of swords sorry seven of wands please clarify seven of wands okay queen of cups okay please clarify page of swords okay <laughs> all right oh did you want to come out okay we'll take this ace of cups okay see how will this connection unfold see honestly guys i'm getting like in the bottom line energy see it this connection is going to unfold with many surprises okay like i'm seeing like a step by step by step surprises okay information knowledge but you are going to see wonder in this connection the way it's going to unfold is you seeing miracles wonder divine intervention and feeling like a winner there's something very mystical about your connection pile 3 okay and you are going to see it all how uh, like just how the divine has guided this connection just how the divine has planned this connection how it has succeeded you're going to see you're going to get a lot of knowledge about how spirit has been intervening in your connection you know that's how like when you see the unfoldment of your connection you're going to see okay just you're going to have a lot of knowledge you learn a lot when you see how this connection unfolds because i'm seeing a lotus unfolding you're going to see the whole unfoldment here okay and you're going to learn from it is what i'm getting you're going to learn a lot there's going to be a lot of wisdom that will accumulate once you understand and know the and see and experience the unfoldment of this connection and you will feel like a winner then all right this is what they're seeing um you know uh, overall now how is it going to unfold in the future see like i told you with this wheel of fortune there is a big turning point coming in this connection uh pile number 3 okay and it is going to be brought to you by this king of cups okay this could be you or your person all right it's like destiny is going to show how much of love both of you have for each other that's the sentence i'm hearing and both of you are going to be like thanking the divine being grateful for this beautiful opportunity that fate and destiny have given to you okay uh, by giving each other to you okay i am seeing two like orbits kind of colliding or or fitting okay it's like you guys are two uh, pieces of a puzzle and you are finally fitting together okay and this is something very powerful i don't know i'm getting a lot of power power here there is a huge destined moment coming up in this connection maybe in 10 weeks 10 months okay but when it comes you're going to be full of happiness pride love you know and i'm also getting that maybe uh, like your person your person is going to turn out to be a very emotionally mature and very generous very loving person very caring very concerned 
full of empathy, full of nurture, full of caring. I mean, you're going to feel lucky, okay? Because Wheel of Fortune is also the card of luck, right? You're going to feel lucky to have landed this person, pile number three, okay? Because th this is like a destined connection, okay? And destiny is bringing both of you together, okay? And both of you are going to be like so emotional about each other, so linked from the heart space, okay? wanting to give each other so much there's a lot of emotion <laughs> that's going to be coming up guys with the king of cups okay just like one eye contact and you can see the feelings of the other person that's what i'm hearing okay like each time you guys lock eyes you're going to feel this rush of emotion there's so much emotion look at that i am getting that there's going to be a very distinct um moment in time okay where all of this is going to happen it's it's like luck fate destiny all coming up at a certain time so this moment is coming all right after that i am sensing mm, hierophant is like tradition rules i want to clarify this a little bit because i'm sensing here something to do with tradition traditions culture religion where someone might be feeling a little bit like uh left out in the cold as though like you know can i do this for some of you it's a marriage okay and you're like can i do this so let me just clarify a little bit please clarify the hierophant Ten of Wands, below is Queen of Wands, okay, Ten of Wands, Four of Wands, the world, Queen of Wands at the bottom, <sighs> yeah, I am seeing a community, you know, like a different sort of a community a different community religion maybe even a different location you know and maybe all of these things you will have to imbibe okay uh, or do rather and it might feel like a big task for you you or your person okay like yeah you're gonna be very excited that that's what i feel because both of you love each other like crazy and you're, very, you're going to be very excited, but it might be too much for you to handle, I feel. It's all going to work out, okay? But there might be a moment, like after this whole destined thing, there might be a moment that might happen where you might feel like, can I do this? You know, maybe there is a marriage here, all right? Maybe let's just say you're getting married to your person and you're moving house, okay? I am seeing moving house here. But then, you know, like when you move house, or I am also getting a sense of relocation here, perhaps, okay? So, you know, when you, if you're getting married to someone, there's a whole set of people you'll have to meet, you have to be a certain way, dress a certain way, move home, luggage, this, that. Yeah, I, I am seeing some sort of like, <laughs> you feeling a little overwhelmed and burdened, you know, with changes okay changes and adaptations uh, that might ensue after this connection comes into union okay now i want to clarify five of pentacles please clarify five of pens the moon yeah fears moon queen of wands four of wands honestly i'm seeing a marriage yeah that's what I'm getting, guys. See, I have a feeling you might be a little, you might have some sort of insecurities coming up, okay? Like being overwhelmed, being insecure, having fears, like maybe you've had a very calm life for a long time and now all of these changes are coming and uh, <laughs> you're excited about them, okay? You're excited about them, but you're confident that you want to go for it as well, okay? But it's just like there's so much work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah i'm getting you might feel as though like can you handle all of this you know like all these changes you know being in a relationship i am sensing marriage to be honest you might feel a bit insecure about marriage you know 
you your person okay or both like i am sensing more of like whoever is watching this reading okay might be feeling a bit insecure about how to handle all the the external world you know the rules maybe the law for that matter okay so yeah there might be that but it's a small energy i, I am really sensing with the hierophant here that the divine is like making everything happen step by step so you please please don't have to worry okay the divine is in charge in terms of this connection and they will always be in charge this connection is going to go through all of the you know processes very seamlessly okay so any insecurities you have are going to be removed okay i am also sensing that like you know uh, i am sensing a big sense of marriage okay so get prepared for that now with the 7 of wands and the queen of cups see i am getting the first message i'm getting over here is that see you guys might have been resistant okay like we did see in the previous uh, spread that you guys might be a bit resistant because you don't have much information but now that all of this happens you guys are going to be like flowing like the queen of cups okay you're going to be feeling so i, I have counted parts here king of cups queen of cups right so yeah there's definitely going to be a marriage here okay so i am getting here that see you're going to be on the same page as each other now okay any resistances you've had any kind of friction you've had it's all going to fall away it's all going to fall away and you guys are going to be you know like any insecurities are going to fall away and you're going to be on the same page so deeply in love with each other like oh my gosh even like a little moment apart is going to be like ugh, like a big you know like obstacle <laughs> that's what i'm getting now another thing i'm getting is see guys um see if you are used to being the queen of cups person okay meaning someone sensitive and flowy and you know like otherworldly you will have to be a bit strong now okay because i think you guys are most probably see now you are coming into union there's another person attached to you and they have other I don't know like they have a new life right and you'll have to adapt you'll have to adapt to the new life okay and this might require you to be a bit strong okay to have the boundaries to be strong to be very firm in yourself and in your faith okay you can no longer be like you know uh, a flowy person and you'll have to have like you know mm, you'll have to empower yourself that's the sense i'm getting but i'm going to clarify Please clarify seven of wands. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, practical. Yeah, two of wands. Yeah, like taking the right decisions, not being influenced by other people uh, in terms of your decisions. Yeah, not overthinking it, feeling trapped in any way. yeah you know it's also possible that you know there might be something to do with a child here okay um yeah you know that's the sense i'm getting maybe meeting other people you know um wondering if you can take care of children maybe your person has children or you have a child and you're wondering like will your person be able to take care don't get into all these uh, confusions honestly okay i am getting that maybe you might be feeling like you know can i um handle the responsibility of the rest of the people maybe child you know um can i or they handle it there there are some sort of overthinking stuff that i'm getting over here honestly okay uh, you are strong enough to do it you will do it okay you are going to do it but you will have to have some sort of like guts here okay you can take this on you will do it okay but you will have to have some sort of guts don't let people like i'm getting a big sense of like you know don't let people influence you okay be go with your intuition queen of cups is also someone who's very intuitive okay it's possible that you might get a little bit into overthinking in terms of like can i handle this can i do this maybe it's related to even a job 
uh, family, job, you know, like being like trapped in so much of work. Leah, I mean, I'm getting a big sense here, pile number three, that there's going to be a lot of activity changes that that's going to start off, a lot of adaptations that are going to start off after this uh, destined moment happens. Like, you know, uh, that's the sense I'm getting. Yes, it's going to be very beautiful because you and your person are perhaps coming together uh, for a very long time. And this might involve marriage and stuff like that. But I really feel that, you know, don't let other people's thoughts or opinions influence you. Go with your intuition. You can handle anything. You're very strong, pile number three. You can handle anything. It's just that I think you're very sensitive and you might get a little bit like insecure, you know, about, I would say, maybe your person's people. Okay, that's the sense I'm getting with the Hierophant. Okay, like there's so many changes that are coming up. You'll have to do them step by step. Okay, do them by rules. Okay, to do it like schedule it is what I'm getting. Okay, but you can do it. Your person and you are made for each other. Okay, no matter <coughs> what insecurities either of you face, you will come out winners. You'll fight it out. Okay, because you're meant to be together. Okay, so this is how I'm seeing the unfoldment. It's very beautiful. Pile number three. Just wait for like, first of all, I'm getting the significant stuff that's coming next is some sort of information or news. Okay, with respect to your person. All right. And second, I'm getting is like a big destined moment in time that is engineered by the divine where, you know, where everything changes. Okay, for the best. <laughs> all right so this is what i'm getting pile three i really hope it helped okay bye